Border Force officers in Brisbane have been alerted to the arrival of this US citizen flying in from Los Angeles. He's come of interest because of other associates he's been travelling with previously. They've been intercepted in the States and they've been caught with narcotics leaving the US. You've been here for four or three years ago? Yeah. Okay. The man is actually meant to be in Melbourne, and officers question him about his unusual travel movements. Uh, so, how come you came into Brisbane? Oh, oh, because my flight was, uh, I was late for my flight when I was in, when I came to LA, or when I was in LA from here. You live in LA? I live in LA, yeah. yeah. So, I was late for that flight, and then they put me on this one to Brisbane, and then they told me from Brisbane I could fly to. Yeah. Uh, well, can you do me a favor? Can you just go like that for me? Are you feeling okay? You're not sick? Yeah, I'm just a little shaky because everything that's going on, I don't know. I'm trying. I'm late for my flight. Okay. I'm a little worried. But you've traveled, like you said, travel for This is custom. This is what we do. We just say. No, I understand. I totally okay. understand. It's just, I'm, I'm I just like, think you're really shaking. So yeah, it's not... also I have PSD, so it's the kind of like, yeah, it's it's good. Everything's good. Okay. okay. Do you, do you need to take any medication or anything like that? I, I haven't taken any, no. Do you need to take some? No, I don't. Do you, sure. would you like a chair? Or? Um, the chair would be nice if that's possible. Yeah, yeah, we can get that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Officers yeah. are concerned that the man's nervous behaviour could be an indication that he is carrying illicit items. And as the shaky passenger takes a seat, yeah, officers prepare now, right? to carry out a swab test. You know what this is? No. Okay, so basically it's, it tests. I've got a machine in there that's going to test for traces of drugs. Have you ever used any drugs? I have used them. What sort of drugs have you used? Methamphetamine. Methamphetamine? Yeah. Okay. When? Um, um, uh, about a, uh, three days ago. Three days ago. So you think maybe it's going to come back positive? Probably. Probably. How often do you use? Uh, enough. Okay. So I'm going to ask you straight up now, have you got any drugs in your bags or on your person? Not in my bag. Okay. On, on your person? Yeah. You did. That was an admission? Yeah, I did. Okay, all right. Confirming their suspicions, the man admits to officers that he is carrying drugs internally. Need to look at me. Okay, I'm now going to caution you, all right? You do not have to say or do anything, but anything you do say or do could be taken down in evidence. Do you understand that? Okay. Christopher, the drugs you have on your person, are they on your body? Are they internally? Or... Okay. Can I... And on, you've got both, all right, mate. He has made admissions that he is carrying something on his body. He said it's methamphetamines. He's carrying it around his crutch area and he's also carrying it internally. Drug importation is a serious offence and the investigation will now be stepped up. Because you've made an admission that you're carrying drugs on your person, okay, so you understand that that's a concern for us, we're going to be calling the federal police. <laughs> it's a glass of water there, mate. As reality sinks in, the passenger becomes increasingly upset. <laughs> he's extremely distraught. I think he's realised what's happened. Despite his distress, so far officers only have the man's word to go on, so they continue to search his bags to make sure they do not contain any illicit substances. And must also check his body. <laughs> okay, Christopher, we've got a, a, a dog here, okay? We just would, would like you just to stand up against this wall and the dog's going to run past, all right? If the detector dog sits near the passenger, it's an indication that there are narcotics present. <laughs> It's a positive reaction from the detector dog. So, mate, you're right to take a seat, mate. The passenger's health now becomes a top priority, as there is every chance the narcotics he is carrying internally could rupture and become life threatening <laughs> How much do you have? Um, ounces. How many ounces? Six and a half. Yeah. The people that you're here to meet, are not involved? No, no, no. They basically so it's just purely for you? Just for me. He's stated that it's personal use only. He's not bringing in the narcotics for anyone else. He's met an Australian woman online, so he's coming to visit her. Um, we'll do some further follow-up on that person as well. The Australian Federal Police have been called and they will take over the investigation, but Border Force officers' immediate concern is the passenger's fragile health. So, Christopher, 
with, with the narcotics, with, with the breakup of it, how much is around your crutch and how much did you insert anally? An ambulance team is also on its way, but the passenger becomes more distressed as time passes. It's a fairly common reaction being caught with the staff. Unlike probably people that have it in their baggage, because it's on his body, that's a lot harder for them because that's still they can't sort of get rid of it, it's still on them or in them in this case. <laughs> But before he can be taken to hospital and receive medical help, the passenger must consent. Just have a read of this one, okay? That just explains to you what's going to happen, okay? He reads the information, but yeah, he yeah. refuses to agree to the examination. Christopher, if you, if you consent to the search being done, you need to sign here, okay? Okay, hang on, but if that's going to take time to get onto my dog, then that's what I'll do. If that's okay. It, if, then if it means I'm going to be still arrested, then. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I just want to go home to my dog and never deal with drugs again. As you understand, going home is not an option. <laughs> As the minutes tick by, he still refuses to consent. Our main concern here at the moment, Chris, is your health. You understand that? The fact that he's got the narcotics inside, which we believe to be methamphetamine, that we have got concerns that they could burst inside him, so it's just really more concerned about his health at this stage rather than narcotics. Yeah, yeah this, is not admission, this is not an admission of guilt. Oh, this is, you know, uh, so all you need to do is sign it and date it here. If I do sign this right now. Yeah, that's all right. I know it's gonna come out. It's gonna have to come out either way. So the two options are, if you sign the form, then we can get out a lot quicker, otherwise we have to get a judge to give an order to execute. There is a medical team on standby, but they cannot help until the passenger gives consent. Either way, you'll go to the hospital, and you'll we'll be coming out at the hospital by a doctor. be seized by the Australian Federal Police as he is medically assessed. So, any other uh, yeah. Queensland Ambulance did monitor him and uh, done a few tests. They're quite comfortable, nothing's leaked at this stage, but they're very concerned that something may leak, because by what we can understand is he actually put it into himself prior to leaving LA, so it's about 16, 17 hours. Um, so they're really keen to get into the hospital to get it removed by a doctor as soon as possible.